my name is Tori and I am here to show you how to make homemade granola bars today. If you are doing the nutrition program, there are a lot of really wonderful recipes in there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but if you're like me, snacks are very important and I always like to have a healthy, nutrient-dense, energy-packed snack on hand. And a lot of the granola bars that we can buy at the store are packed full of kind of weird ingredients, a lot of added sugars. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy recipe that you can make at home. So first I am going to start with oats. You can use any kind of oats that you would like to use. We just have quick oats on hand. And after the video is done, I will add all of the ingredients to the comments so you can check those out at any time. You're going to add two cups of oats to start with, one cup of nut butter of your choice. Um, we love the Justin's peanut butter. They have all kinds of varieties, almond butter, cashew butter, peanut butter, um, with fun additions like cinnamon and vanilla and honey. Today I'm just using classic peanut butter, but if you have a peanut allergy, you can easily substitute the peanut butter for a different kind of nut butter. So I'm adding in one cup of nut butter. The sweetener that I'm using today is honey. I just like this raw, unfiltered honey. I just got this from Costco, but you can use any kind of honey. You can also use real maple syrup to sweeten if you would like as well. Or if you prefer it not very sweet, you can certainly omit the sweetener or just add in a little bit less, maybe a fourth a cup instead of half of a cup. So we're adding in half a cup of honey. And then some additions that I am adding in today is maca powder, chia seeds, and flax seeds. All these guys are chock full of tons of vitamins and minerals. So I'm going to add in two tablespoons of each. But the cool thing about these granola bars is that they are totally customizable. So you can add one tablespoon, you can add one teaspoon, you can omit these kinds of ingredients as well. And then two tablespoons of maca powder. You can also add in cinnamon, you can add in vanilla extract. I forgot to get my cinnamon out, so we're gonna add a little bit of that. All right. And then of course, you can't forget the dark chocolate. And again, totally optional, but we love to add a little bit of chocolate in. Um, we use the Enjoy Life brand of chocolate chips. They're free from a lot of major allergens, so they're dairy-free, soy-free, all that good stuff. And I just kind of like to add to your heart's desire, <laughs> however much looks good to you. And then I'm just going to add in a little splash of almond milk here. It's ready to mix around now. If your nut butter has been in the fridge or it's just kind of hard and sticky to work with, oh man, of course I made <laughs> um, You can always pop it in the microwave for, you know, 10, 20 seconds to help soften it up a little bit. And that will make it a little bit easier to work with. And then once you have it all mixed together, you have a couple different options for this. One, you can make it into granola bars. I have a little granola bar pan that you know puts it into a granola bar shape for me. Um, you can also shape the bars yourself. 
and if you choose to make granola bars you would bake them at 350 for about 8 to 10 minutes it doesn't need very long you can also just leave the mixture as is it looks delicious and eat it as you know just like a nut butter kind of spread with apples or you can roll the mixture into little balls and put them in the fridge or freezer for little protein balls. So there's a couple different options for you, but the cool thing is this is totally customizable. It's made with real ingredients. You can add in protein powder if you want a little bit more of a protein kick to it as well, but you'll have to try it out. Let me know what additions you decide to make and I hope you enjoy.